you know, some days I just cannot take another second of bad news. You know what I mean? So here are some of my favorite app sites and just plain good tech tools to help you feel better right now. One of my main go-tos this week, I have no idea why, but it's the My Talking Pet app. You just choose a photo of your pet, you line it all up, record something. What's up with you, dog? Choose the pitch and... What's up with you, dog? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why that's so funny, but it cracks me up every single time. A few more quick instant pick-me-ups right from the palm of your hand. Apps like Happify. This lets you play customized games and activities that focus on happiness and positivity. Easy, customizable, is that a word? And fun. Or an app like Happier, which sends you uplifting quotes and serves as a gratitude journal. Or you can take expert-led short courses to discover new ways to find joy. I also like apps like Headspace, Calm, and Breathe for quick meditation, just easy reminders during the day to slow down, center yourself, focus, and definitely take a big, huge, deep breath. If you really need someone to talk to, therapy apps like Talkspace or Doctor On Demand are good for paid professional help at your fingertips. Now, I listen to a lot of podcasts. I do this while I'm exercising, out for a walk or a run. Of course, Oprah's Super Soul Sunday podcast is always a go-to. Plus, Happier with Gretchen Rubin is a good one. Hay House Meditations, you can usually find some gems in there. I'm also a big fan of The Way I Heard It from Mike Rowe. It's a series of short stories, kind of mysteries for the curious mind with a short attention span. And of course, there are a lot of uplifting talks via TED Talks. Now on Twitter, well, cute emergencies. All animal, all cute, all the time. On Instagram, there's a whole bunch of go-tos like Humans of New York, Deepak Chopra, Amy Poehler Smart Girls, or just Awesome Earth. On Facebook, well, I always make sure that stories from Upworthy show up first. And again, Mike Rowe, oh, when he writes about his mom losing her blue purse, always makes me feel instantly better. For some sites to bookmark on the internet, Attack of the Cute, again with the cute animals, totally helps. There's the Dodo, Bored Panda, Awkward Family Photos. You know, I know this one's kind of old, but there's always some good fodder that cracks you right up. But sometimes the best way to feel better is to just do this. There are links to everything plus more details in the column that goes with this video. I'm Jennifer Jolly, and this is a little happier tech now. Oh,